is this everybody, Miss Wanda? No, it's not, but you could certainly go ahead and get started, Curtis, if you want to. Um, I think Paulina is the only one missing and she was an if because she's sick. So if somebody else could help with minutes, that would be great. Yeah, did we hear from Jadavian and Myra? Myra should be coming as well, yes. Yeah, that's what I thought. All right, we'll give her a couple more minutes then. Okay, I think this will be a brief meeting anyway, so. So Curtis, I suggest maybe we go ahead and, and get started. All right. Uh, College of Warriors of Board meeting of May 6, 2021 is now called to order. And um, our secretary is not here, so would love someone like to take the roll call. I nominate you, Cameron, since you're already skilled at it, if that's possible to you. Okay, yes, I don't have the um, the, the roster. Um, let me see, okay. but I, I am taking um, the minutes too, if we still needed somebody to help. Okay. Let me pull it up one moment. Okay, all right, let's see. And then we said, um, okay. All right, so I'll start by calling the roll. And I have um, Curtis Walker for Scythe Tech. Present. Okay, Paulina Solis Page for Scythe Tech. Um, Ian Brewster for Scythe Tech. Um, Faith Springs. Forsyth Tech. Cameron. <laughs> excuse me. Go ahead, Jamie, because we had a couple of excused absences. Yes, she requested call. excused absence. Okay. And was it did and we Paul not have another one before that? And Paulina. Okay. okay thank you. And then I have um, Sophie Brown, Lake Forest. Present. Okay. Of course, Cameron Allen, present. Um, Allie Morton, Wake Forest. Present. Okay, awesome. Um, Jadavian King, Winston-Salem State. Did J Jadavian also have excused absence today? Not that I'm aware of, Cameron. Okay. All right. And then we have Bruce Williams the third, Winston-Salem State. Present. Okay. And then Myra Ramirez, Salem College. Myra, can you say aye? Or present, rather, excuse me. Yeah. 
It may be some audio troubles, but we do see Myra is here. So awesome. So I'll write down the role and keep that in the minutes going forward. Thank you, Cameron. All right. Um, there will be no board reports at this meeting. So uh, this meeting was um, initiated so that we could discuss the transition um, for our survey to the next cab, which will be getting in the fall. And I believe that um, there is one update um, from Bruce Williams. Bruce? So I have not heard back from them yet. They usually reply like slow. So anything I have, I can relay through that email thread. Hopefully they get back shortly. I'm hoping by tomorrow. So it's just, just a patience game. Um, I can try to call, I think I have Cornelius's grave cell phone number, so I can try to reach out through there. Bruce, do you mind um, telling everyone what you're referring to? Um, I'm referring to the to their IRB process in regards to like the approval method that they went through. So I'm just waiting on a, like update and confirmation of that. And so, as we shared, um, the IRB has been approved at Winston-Salem State. That process is complete. And I am thinking, if I'm recalling correctly, somebody asked what process they went through. Is that correct, Curtis? Do you remember that? Yes, that, that's correct. Because the Forsyth Tech, um, they gave me the verbal that they're going to approve it, but we were waiting for um, some type of consent form from the NLC. And that was the only thing that held it up. So. Um, obviously, for Cyber Tech and um, and um, with Salem State uh, work together uh, a lot between Chancellor Robertson and Dr. Um, Spriggs. So I was um, wondering what it is that allowed them to continue the process, because generally for Cyber Tech will just follow suit. Um, and so when Bruce, um, when you get any information along those lines, um, I'll pass that on to the IRB here, um, Ms. Edwards, and uh, then we'll then we'll at least have we'll we'll, we'll have two that are definitely approved. Um, coming into the next um, administration that comes in in the fall. Um, so if there's any other updates, good to see you, um, Ali and Sophia. What about um, on the, and Myra is, was here, but she, I guess she's having technical difficulties. Um, anything of late, any news um, concerning the um, Wake um, Forest IRB? Ali, Sophia. And Cameron's been in an email thread. I saw something that she had sent this morning, but I didn't get a chance to dive into it. Yeah, we have been trying to reach out to the Wake Forest IRB. So far, we've had good contacts with the um, regular Office of Institutional Research, but haven't had much luck contacting the IRB as of right now. So I followed up again this morning. Um, just to see if we can get something going. And then I also offered, I know we want to get it out, I think the fall semester. So of course I said, um, you know, we would work over the summer if needed, but I went ahead and sent the questions, the action plan, um, everything I think we might need for right now to get approval. So hopefully uh, we'll hear back in the next few days and then that way we can work over the summer to make sure it's good to get off the ground for the fall. Um, if Myra comes back in, I know that she was doing something as well. So um, as it stands, uh, I guess that, that's where we are. So Ms. Wanda, Ms. Jamie, do you have any comments um, or any additional information that we might want to need or to address it or how we transition to the next cab? Well, the biggest thing that I wanted to um, mention and discuss was the fact that we've been leaning heavily on you all to um, try to patch the, pass the torch on to someone else on your respective campuses. And I just wanted to check in on that to see if anybody has identified um, potential students to take their seats if they're not able or planning to rejoin CAB in the fall. Um, I guess I'll go first. I know for me, I told you I was going to meet with Orlando Mitchell, who appointed me. So he told me that when the incoming administration comes in, they'll be appointing that he'll be appointing that once they once they arrive. So I know they start back in June. So I know I was appointed probably the beginning of September around there. So he's going to handle that process. Okay, awesome. And Bruce, do you mind um, 
sending um, him an email and copying me on it, just confirming that he told you that? Because that okay. would follow up with him. As okay, cool. Okay. I'll do it right now. Okay, thank you. And I could speak on behalf of Forsyth Tech. Um, Mario Rosas Neville is the editor of Forsyth Tech, um, technically speaking, newspaper. So um, I'm definitely speaking to him. He's a great candidate, as well as Ryan Phillips, who's serving at SGA, and Amelia Baskin. Obviously, it has to go through the SLE director, um, Ms. Lewis. But those are the three potentials that right now, um, Forsyth Tech is kind of in a flux situation because there's a lot of ceremonies, a lot of paintings that are going on. So after next week, um, when graduation is official, and uh, then we kind of get back into a sense of like normal school operations. Um, we can figure out exactly what, particularly the student leadership is gonna look like going forward. The SGA in itself will obviously, everybody's graduating. So that's gonna be a unique situation. And then, um, you know, what student leaders will be um, will stay over, whether they're student ambassadors or whether they're AMB um, to continue um, being student leadership. So uh, probably within the next 30 days, we'll probably have some like definitive answers but those three for sure that I would recommend right now and have recommended that they um, would definitely be on cap for next year. That sounds great, Curtis. Thank you. You're welcome. Um, I know for Wake Forest, we could at the beginning of next semester during like our uh, involvement fair have a table with maybe a QR code that links to the application. Uh, to get some more young uh, people on campus involved. Um, but then we can also reach out to our own respective like organizations that we're involved in on campus and see if anyone else is interested in this type of work. That would be awesome. That's what I have on my end as well. I reached out um, over the office of um, I'm sorry, <laughs> remember, I think it's the Office of Community Engagement or Student Engagement who also helped appoint me. So I reached out to them. Um, I know they usually have a lot of involvement like early before we get back to school and then as we transition into the fall semester. So I think doing the student engagement fair and then also keeping them um, in touch with students is a really good way forward. But I do also have some students I've been in contact with about it. I know it's the end of the semester, so emails kind of get caught up in everything else, but I will continue to reach out and see if they would like to submit their application over the summer. Okay, and Cameron, if there is a particular administrator that you're working with uh, or did work with in student engagement, could you do what I asked um, Bruce to do and just email that person and copy me just to say, hey, just following up, because what we need to do is make sure that they all get the new um, application because we usually send out an application and we send out information about the college advisory board so that they the administrators understand what it is that you all do and then they can share it with the students so they can determine whether or not it's a good fit for them and if they have an interest and in, you know all of that so we can we can do that we can send the information but we just have to know who we need to send the information to Hey, that's awesome. And also, is there a link? I did send a link to an application I found online, but I'm not sure if that's the right one through the city website. I didn't know if CAB had a specific one as well. We have a specific one for you all. Okay. You probably saw the one in general for boards and commissions, but we have a yes. specific one. Yeah. There's a specific one for CAB. Okay. So for you all, it's yeah, a little different. Okay, so I'll um, do that no later than tomorrow morning, but I'm going to definitely try for today. Okay, awesome. And I, I was going to say, Miss Wanda, that things are probably going to be picking up a little bit more. Um, I don't know if you know, but so our graduation is definitely in person this year. So we're getting kind of back to a sense of where students, a lot more students will be on campus. So that, you know, that bodes well for the, for the future of CAB as well. Yes, that's great. I was going to ask um, Sophie and Allie, are you both graduating or is one of or um, Neither of us are graduating. I was thinking that I might pass the torch on because I've served for two years. Um, but I think Sophie plans to stay for sure. And if um, if for whatever reason, I don't think this should be a problem. But if for whatever reason, I couldn't find a replacement, then I'm happy to to stay. 
But I think that this is a great opportunity and I think it would serve someone super well and thinking about something like law school or um, more of a government route and I'm more of a STEM angle. So I think I would like to pass on the torch. Thank you. And Sophie, that'll be great to um, have you help transition for next year. Big time. Because if we can have at least one cab veterans, that would be hugely important to help the new cab members to understand how things work and they would be hearing it from a peer versus me or Jamie. Of course, I'm happy to help. Thank you. I wish we were getting you both, but I'm trying not to be like that because you know what? This, <laughs> this experience um, really can serve anybody well, no matter what your major is, because it really teaches you a lot about the importance of civic engagement, working with local government to help to affect change. And um, a lot of the, here in Winston-Salem, probably in other communities, you know, here, particularly STEM is important because we do have Innovation Quarter, you know, we have Novant and so many other institutions that do relate to STEM. And so even though it may not be specific to a STEM major in that way, it is specific to understanding how to collaborate and how to work with others on a joint mission. And so I don't want anyone to feel like it has to be major specific because that is not at all um, what CAB is intended to be. It's more of a broad stroke. It's more of a wider scope. That's so, true. I really appreciate yes. that. Yes. So you're more than welcome to stay on. We would absolutely be elated to keep you both. Because I, I have a very high opinion of you both. So I know that I speak for Jamie too. And we would we would hate to lose either of you. You guys are so kind. We really appreciate that. <laughs> Thank you. And Myra is still trying to, she is having technical difficulties. And I see a, okay, I see a number up here now. And she's saying that is her, that number that we see on the screen. So welcome, Myra. Sorry, you're having some difficulties. Yeah. As, yes, welcome, Myra. And if you have um, some information on the IRB, I guess you could just, can she type it into the uh, the chat box, Ms. James? I'm not sure, but she could maybe unmute and speak like that at the very least. Jamie, were you nodding that she could? You're on, yeah, yeah. And then I realized I've never called in, so I don't think she can chat if she's calling in. <laughs> yeah, I don't think so. <laughs> so Myra, can you hear us? Is there a way for you to unmute on your phone and talk to us? I know to unmute on Zoom. There's she said she can't chat. She can hear us. Okay, Myra, but we just can't hear you. That's all. If you're trying to speak, we can't hear you. But it's okay. We're glad you're here. And before I would be remiss, I just want to make a quick comment. So congratulations on you guys graduating, um, going off into your new careers now. So I'm super excited to see um, what, what, you know, what holds for you. And I'll definitely be watching you guys on LinkedIn and rooting you on. So that's good. Yes, congratulations, seniors. We're so proud of you. We know you're going to go on to do great and wonderful things. We already know that. That's a given. Thank you. So seniors, did you have any parting words of wisdom? Um, for me, I guess I'll just say thank you for this opportunity. It's been really amazing and it's broadened my perspective on a lot of different things. And I appreciate it. Awesome. Thank you, Bruce. Are you sticking around this area? Um, as well, I told you, I'm going to Chapel Hill, so I'll be there for the next two years. Um, but maybe, you know, when I get out of grad school, I'll come back to Winston. I don't really know yet wherever life takes me, you know, but I'll be around. I'm definitely going to come back to Winston and show love. So I'll well, be around. Good. Well, good, good. And maybe when you come back, we'll actually be back to some sense of normalcy and we'll get to meet in person because is it not insane that some of us have not met in person and yet we've been working together for all of these months. So that would be yeah. awesome. And Miss Cameron, 
you have any words of wisdom? Yeah, I want to also say thank you all so much, uh, Ms. Wanda and Ms. Jamie, but also for the internship opportunity I had last year. That was awesome. And I think it came at me at a really um, great time. I was transitioning into my new politics major that I was nervous about, um, you know, career-wise because I came in with a totally different perspective. So you all really helped um, solidify that for me um, and kind of build up my skill set going forward. So I'm really excited about that. But I also want to say congratulations to all the seniors, but just to everyone on the call finishing this year, um, because we definitely know it was very interesting, um, sometimes difficult and a large transition. So I think each day we kind of go forward right now is a big congratulations to everyone. So I just want to say I appreciate it and I'm excited to see what CAB is doing going forward. Well, Cameron, you know, we, we enjoyed you as well as an intern, as well as a CAB member. You, um, as just like everyone else, you all are just outstanding people. And it's so, so encouraging to know that the future will be in your hands, in your generation's hands, but you all are the cream of the crop. There's no question about that. CAB is the cream of the crop. And so, I um, mean, you've already been lauded um, when we were on the NLC call as well. And it's true, you deserved it. And so um, just really thrilled um, to have worked with you, Cameron, and everyone on the call. Um, we just think a lot of you, and we hope that you will keep in touch with us once you do move on and get into your respective careers and start families and whatever else you decide to do. We just hope that you stay in touch with us. And Curtis, I know you have some words of wisdom. Uh, uh, yeah, so I'm, I'm very honored. So it's, um, it's been a couple good years here. So it's good to see uh, the faces. Obviously, uh, I know Cam and Allie the best. Uh, and it's good to see what you're doing, Bruce. I'm super excited to um, see you get through grad school and see where God takes you. Uh, Miss Jamie, Miss uh, Ms. Wanda, obviously, you know, nothing works without you guys. And uh, you've um, not only um, been mentors, but uh, I guess you could say friends as well um, that have gotten us through this. Uh, it's not been easy, obviously, this year with the pandemic, and it's been just a little bit different. Definitely missed the pizza. That was always a good thing. It was a good highlight. <laughs> uh, so, and I, I missed the fact that everybody didn't have the opportunity to work together in person, so that was a good thing. But um, as you know, Ms. Wanda, so I'm not going to go anywhere because I'm, I'm here on the commission already. Going to look forward to getting some more commissions um, or committees um, and going to be doing the city university. And obviously got my, um, so my degree is already paid off, so I'm the logistics coordinator at Corning. But I'm really actually waiting on um, uh, Novant because I had a meeting with the CEO of Novant about um, working there as a supply chain. So that's something I'm looking forward. But uh, ultimately, I, you know, I think it's very important for us to, uh, as graduates. Um, you know, Winston's been good to us, right? So you know, if you have the opportunity to um, fulfill your career and here in the Triad or in North Carolina, I would say I would recommend um, staying. Even though I'm from New York. And I, I go to Florida an awful lot. Um, I'm going to be here, obviously, for the next three years because I'm appointed to be here for the next three years. But I also look at it as a great opportunity to continue to grow, continue to make good connections, and uh, continue to build up this area and see um, what God has in store for me. So I'm looking forward, especially to see you political science majors. Uh, obviously, I'm very, I'm very invested in political science and I'm very invested in politics to see um, what's going to come forth in the next four or five years. Uh, looking forward to seeing y'all. I hope that you'll stay around or have some type of part, some type of part in, in the, you know, the continuing innovation here. And uh, we'll see what happens. But um, really great working with all of you. Nice meeting you this year, Bruce, um, Jadidian, um, Myra. Um, I know that you're on the line, but you can't say anything. So, hey, the sky's the limit. Um, whatever it is you, you inspire to be, whatever it is that you um, think that you can be, the future's out there. It's yours. Go get it. Yes, here, here. That is so true. And my hat's um, off to you all too for your work on the NLC, with the NLC this year and with the um, surveys with uh, hunger and housing. That was not easy to do either. To do that remotely really says a lot about your commitment and your dedication. And so I know that you all have a passion for this type of, of work, no matter what your intended career path is or your major, it showed this year. It showed that you really do care about your community, you care about others in the community who may not be as privileged or as fortunate as you are, or all of us actually. And so it's just really good to know that you all could see past yourselves 
you can see beyond yourselves and actually want to do something to make a difference in the lives of your peers who may have hunger issues, housing issues. That says a lot about you all as individuals. And so again, I'm hoping that CAB helped you to realize that in, in yourselves, that you do have that and that there are things that you can do to affect change in a positive way. So that's not, that was not an easy challenge for you, but you, you took it on and you, were, you excelled all the way to the point, just so you know this, that the National League of Cities wants to use the model that we came up with, the blueprint for housing and hunger. They want to use that um, as a national model in the sense that they have invited us to, um, to attend two national conferences in the fall that are university higher education conferences. One is for the executives in higher education and the other one is for universities and colleges. And so they want to have that, NLC wants to use Winston-Salem's um, cohort model as an example for panel discussions at both of those national conferences. So that, that's, a, that's a tribute. That says something about you. And so um, major kudos to CAB this year. You all did an outstanding job. And Jamie, we certainly don't want to leave you out. Was there anything you wanted to say? My goodness, I think everybody said everything, but I, I as always, appreciate my time working with you all. And, um, and it, this was an odd year, but we made it through and I look forward to hopefully um, seeing you all in person someday. Um, especially Sophie, since we have her commitment to be back next year. Um, and, um, but the rest of you, best of luck. And um, we welcome you to come back and see us anytime. Check on, check on CAB. Yes. And for those who may be able to stop by City Hall today, we have a special gift for you. Jamie is going to show you what that special gift is. Um, yes. You have your very own cab masks. <laughs> so we ordered those and we were hoping to have those back in time to give this year's cab. And so if you can stop by particularly today, Jamie is at City Hall, she's on site. And so if you um, have a minute, let her know you're coming and um, she can, you can just stop by if whether it's in the parking lot or up front where the guards desk is or whatever, she does have the mask in the office today. And so we would love to share those with you. And I think, do we have any other um, little possible things that we might get when they come by, Jamie? I think they may have one or two other things, right? We don't want to tell everything, but do we not? You're muted. I think so. I'll, I'll, okay. go, I'll go put it, something together. <laughs> All right, there you go. You heard it. So <laughs> stop by if you can. And uh, also, just as a reminder, on May the 11th, the annual report will be presented to the city council. And so we encourage you all to tune in and watch. And I know our presenters are supposed to be, I believe, Myra and Paulina. Um, and as always, we, we want to make sure that your report is going to be presented um, by you, not by staff. So if there's anyone who wants to be an alternate, because Paulina has gotten sick, we're hoping she'll be better by Tuesday. But if anyone is available to be an alternate to co-present with Myra, please let us know. Because that is a very important thing. It's a way to, to be able to brag on yourselves to the city council, let them know the work you've done with the NLC and about the national conferences and invitations and, and the collegiate trust talks, which was another coup for you all. I mean, this is your time to be able to really brag on what you've done in this remote world this year. So if anybody can be an alternate for Tuesday at 4.30, please let me know, let us know. And if you already know, you can speak up now. That's fine too. Um, I don't know for sure because I actually um, don't know if I'll be working from home that day, um, but I'll let you know Monday for sure if I can do it. Okay, thank you, Curtis. Anybody else, if you're available, if you know now, let us know because this is a virtual presentation and it should not take very long at all. And we'll have um, a few slides, maybe three or four slides available for you to present, which will be pictures like from the Collegiate Trust Talks, you know, the screenshots, 
probably a, um, a graphic of the NLC blueprint and the survey questions, this stuff like that. So, and we are big of a deal. And we already submitted the um, the report. So I'll email to the group that is, you know, supposed to present. I'll email the slides and the um, report by tomorrow. So you'll have the weekend to look it over. Okay. So Can you hear me? All you would do is just present the newsletter. You would just um, present, you know, talk about the collegiate trust talks and the, the NLC project. That's pretty much it. Those are the highlights for the year. Did I hear somebody speak? Was it that was Myra. Was, I think it was Myra. <laughs> yeah. I figured out how to mute. Hey, <laughs> hi, Myra. <laughs> It's so nice to hear everyone. Sorry I couldn't join the video. I'm having problems with a uh, wife. I don't even know what it is, but yeah. That's okay. But I'm happy to be here. Happy to um, hear everyone. Good. Do you have any parting words of wisdom? I think everything that everyone said is about the same thing I can say for myself. Uh, it was an honor working with everyone. I really enjoyed it. And like you said, uh, it doesn't matter what background or uh, we have or uh, what we're going to do with our careers. I think it was a great, great experience um, to work with everyone. Awesome. Thank you, Myra. And thank you for serving as our spring intern, actually fall too. So thank you for serving as intern um, with the human relations department this year. And that's something. No problem. For too. Yes, you were an awesome, awesome intern. And we always extend that um, to CAB members. That's another thing. Um, that, that CAB members have benefited from um, in years past, is that if someone is interested in being an intern while serving on CAB, they can certainly do so. And we, we welcome that. Sophie, Allie, I see y'all. I don't know what's going on, but I see you guys. <laughs> Very giggling. Today is our last day of classes at Wake Forest, which is really nice. Oh, awesome. Yeah, it's definitely exciting to see the semester wrap up. It's been so crazy with COVID. <laughs> I know you're happy to see it wrap up because this this has been a, I know it's been a weird semester for y'all. I mean, I cannot imagine. I cannot imagine. But congratulations because you stuck it out. So everybody, I want to ask a favor. And Myra, you just do it just because. I would like to ask everyone to smile because we would like to do a screenshot. Maybe we'll include it on one of the slides um, for the city council uh, meeting on Tuesday. But we want to get some clear pictures of you all so that, uh, yeah, Bruce, go ahead and tighten up the beard. I saw you. <laughs> I saw that. I saw that. <laughs> but yeah, so everybody looks good. Everybody looks good. So Jamie, do you mind doing the honors for the screenshot? Okay. Jamie is the photographer extraordinaire always. So all of us need to, yep. Tug and pull ladies, <laughs> tug and pull. <laughs> okay. All right, y'all ready? On three, one, two, three. All right, I got a couple. Okay, so right. you may see these on social media, if everybody is okay with that. You may see it on the city's Facebook page or on Twitter. Um, so thank you. Thank you for, for posing. No problem. Just Photoshop me into a picture and we'll be fine. You know what? We probably could actually do that. Yeah, we could. <laughs> we could. We I could. Know how to no yeah. problem. So that was all we had, Bruce. I don't know if anybody else had anything. I told you it'd be a brief meeting. We just wanted to really, you know, salute you all and, and really give a give you our heartfelt thanks and, and appreciation. Nope, uh, I'll definitely get back with you, um, Ms. Wanda, because I'm still around about the um, Forsyth Tech transition and uh, work on that. Yeah, well. get, thanks, Curtis. Yeah, I'll get and back Bruce, to you as well. Okay, okay. And Bruce, thank you for being um, such a good tie-in with Winston-Salem State throughout this NLC process. We appreciate you for that. No problem, it's been a pleasure. I yes. would do it all over again. Well, thank you. And thank you for being the person who was interviewed early on, brand new to CAB, and you agreed to be interviewed on TV 
about some of the work we were doing. And I remember you and I talking about it and I was trying to, to prepare you and assure you that you would do just fine and you did. Thank you, I appreciate that. No sweat, just all a small. Right. Yeah, just a small TV interview, that's all it was. Just on the news, <laughs> that's all. <laughs> but you were good rep for CAB, so yeah. All right then everybody. And so those of you presenting on Tuesday, we will see you on the call on Tuesday and we do have the Zoom link. So we'll make sure to get that to you. Again, if you're available to be an alternate, let us know ASAP pretty please. If and I'll stop by and pick up the, um, today, Ms. Jane. Yeah, don't forget, stop by and pick up your masks. Yep. How are you doing, bro? Yeah. All right. Bye, thank you all. Yes, all right. take care. If we're not on LinkedIn together, um, send me a, a LinkedIn request. So let's stay in touch. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Meeting is adjourned. Bye, everybody. <laughs>